and righteousness what's going on another episode on this episode we are going to talk about how God wants a relationship with us and you're going to learn about a few keys of a healthy relationship and what's a relationship in general so stay tuned on this episode we are located at Lake Pleasant a little bay here I'm going to show you more of the lake but I'm on a trail and I'm going to hike today so come along with us let's go All right, so before we start this episode, let's pull up a scripture and let's go to Genesis 3, 9. It says, Then the Lord God called to Adam and said to him, Where are you? So there is a few scriptures in the Bible where God is actually seeking us. He is actually seeking humans, humanity. He is seeking his children because he truly wants a relationship with us. So this is something we have to remember is that we have a God who also wants to know us, also wants a relationship with us, also wants a personal life to establish a communication with him. So remember that you are God's child. And for the parents out there, don't you want a relationship with your own son, with your own daughter, right? Grandparents, your own grandson, your own granddaughter. Well, God wants a relationship with us as well. So now we know that God wants a relationship with us, but check this out. When Adam sinned and he did what he did, God was still searching for him. A lot of the times we mess up or we get into this sinful nature and we desire to hide away from God. But God doesn't want us to hide from Him. He actually wants us to get into His presence. Get into His presence. The reason why is because only God Himself can solve our issues. Only God Himself can help us get through whatever we're going through. But if we decide to hide from God, if we decide that, hey, you know what? I mess up. I feel guilty about what I did. Let me just stay away from God. That's not gonna help your situation. That's not gonna help you get out of that sinful lifestyle. That's not going to allow you to repent from your sins. You have to establish that relationship. You have to establish that one-on-one -on -one connection with Him. No one's perfect. God didn't put us on this earth to be perfect. We live a sinful life. Sin is everywhere. But I do know one thing, God wants us to repent from our sins. God wants us to establish a relationship because he loves us not to stay in sin not to hide from him not to get out of his presence but the opposite to stay in his presence and when we stay in his presence that's the power that's the glory that is when we can fulfill our purpose on this earth it is the power of the holy spirit the power of his presence all right so let's answer the question what's the relationship just in case some people don't know. So a relationship is a association with someone, a connection with someone, a participation with someone. So when you can have a connection with two or more people, you're having a relationship with someone. You're walking this life with someone. It could be friends, it could be family. But let me ask you something. Can you have a relationship with a stranger? No, because you don't know them, because you never met them, because you haven't found time to really seek who they are, to understand their ways. So if you don't know God, how can you have have a relationship with him so that's something I want you to think about is that you need to have a relationship with God to understand who he is to understand how he operates what he wants from us and also God knows what's on our hearts okay but yet he still wants a relationship with him he still wants us to open up he wants a loving relationship 
with you. So remember, you have a God that not only one, wants to be in your presence, wants to love you, wants to get to know you, but also he's willing to go above and beyond so you know that. But you have to find that relationship with him. And there's a few ways that I'm gonna teach you today on how to get into his presence and how to build that relationship with him. So let's learn three keys on how to have a healthy relationship with God. Number one is to trust God. And let's pull up a scripture. Let's go to Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. So it's a mutual trust. We have to trust God. God is going to trust us, do the right thing, to constantly seek him, to build a relationship with him. But we have to trust. You know, we have to know that God is always going to provide for us. He's always going to be there in our corner. He's never going to leave our side. And number two, commitment to God. We have to stay committed every single day to die to our flesh. We have to stay committed. If there is no real deep commitment in a relationship, it's not a strong relationship. So I challenge you every single day to establish your walk with God, to get into his presence, make that your commitment, and you'll see a change in your life. And let's go over a few ways of commitment. Open up your Bible, get into his presence, read the word. That is the living word that is going to give you the ability to know who he is, to understand his ways. Also pray. Prayer is essential. You need to have a prayer life with God. If you don't have a prayer life with God, you're not communicating, okay? So definitely find, you know, uh, time out of your day to go pray. Another one is that find, you know, prayer groups or, you know, find a nice church that can lead you to God, that could give you the ability to really, really, really get into God's presence and build that relationship with Him. Number three, loving God. When you truly have love for God, building a relationship with Him is going to be super easy. But let's pull up a scripture. Let's go to 1 John verse 4 to 19. And it says, we love him because he loved us first. God loved us first. Remember that he created us. We are his children. And let's also remember that God loved us so much. He loves us so much that he sacrificed his only son for our sins so we can have a path to heaven, so we can have a direct relationship with God. Remember that, is that Jesus Christ is our salvation. Without Jesus Christ, we wouldn't be able to talk to God or to get into God's presence. Jesus Christ made that sacrifice for us. So don't abuse that. Seek Him, seek God, build your relationship because God truly wants a relationship with you. He truly wants you to know that He loves you and He cares for you. It doesn't matter what's going on in this world and all of the distractions out there, all of the lust, all of the lies and tricks that the enemy sends us. And it can be through friends, it can be through family, it can be through the news. These things, we have to be prepared. And when we're in God's presence, that is how we're prepared. We need to watch our eyes, what we see. We need to watch our mouth. We need to watch our ears, what we hear, what we allow into our temple. Because this body right here, that's the temple of God. The Holy Spirit lives in our temple. So we need to protect that. And that's why we need a relationship with God.